My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are talking, uh, what are we talking about? Oh, magnetic sub plugs, yes, yeah, so quite a few people have asked about this. What do I think of them? Nah, eh, not really bothered, worth uh, worth bothering with. If you've got one, don't chuck it away or anything stupid, but it really, it really doesn't work. Let me tell you why it doesn't work. So, you have, there's two types of, um, there's mainly two types of oil pans out there. There are flat ones, like the ER5, where basically it, it just, the engine just has a flat bottom, like that. And you'll have a sump plug over here somewhere, you know, like that. Or you have engines where they have um, the horn, like this, which will be a smaller section like that, which dips down like so. So why don't I think, and you'll obviously you'll have, usually have a sump plug in here or on the side or something shit like that, and that's your oil pan like so. So why don't I think these, why do I think these things are shite? Well, magnetism. So there are only three things, um, cobalt, nickel, um, and steel, uh, steel, iron, <laughs> which, and steel. Um, so there's like cobalt, nickel, and iron, they're the only things that are really, um, Magnetic, so in your engine you have this one and you have this one ish depending and Cobalt generally not it can be in alloys, but yeah, you'd have to separate it out Basically it changes the magnetic properties when you put in alloys and so on nickel again is in alloys and all the rest of it uh, carbon has no effect on um, Has no real effect on the magnetic properties of steel although you can fuck around with it but it's all generally about the alloy and your treatment after which of how you make things magnetic and so on but anyway let's not go into magnetism too much um so these are the things that are magnetic these are the things that you know are your engine ish now this is the thing let's have a look at what actually is in your engine so the steel there's an awful lot of steel there's your crankshaft there's your camshaft your rods rings Cylinder liners possibly, nuts and bolts, bits and pieces, gears and so on. But most of your steel is hardened. So your camshafts, your crankshaft, your rods, uh, rods aren't hardened so much. Not, no, not really. Not in the same way. They, 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 yeah, well, yeah, actually the big end and the small end have bearings most of the time there. Yeah. Wrist pin, uh, your gears, um, clutch discs, I think what else there is clutch discs um, guide rods stuff like that but basically these steels are hardened which means that when they do fucking come apart and wear it is nanometer particles absolutely fuck all right now um, will that be picked up generally no it fucking sticks here and lives everywhere or it sticks here some of it tiny amounts you're not really doing much that's what i'm saying with your magnetic drain plug you're catching fuck all of it absolutely fuck all of it the other thing is is the, the things that do wear in your engine is um the copper the aluminium um there's brand the brosses and um bronzes and brasses Stuff like that for the valve guides. Again, Babbitt, stuff like that. Copper and aluminium that are in your bearings. Um, there's nicosil coatings that wear, but again, these are tiny, and that's a ceramic anyway, but these are tiny particles and all the rest of it. So really, what are you trying to catch? Nothing much. You know, people say, well, if there's a big bit, if there's a big bit, why the hell are you trying to catch it with your plug, right? Because... The way an oil system works is that you, you have a siphon and you have a screen. That screen is there to catch the big bits, right? Um, it's like oil filters. Oil filters do not catch big bits. The pump is nearly every scene, every single instance, the pump is before the oil filter. This is why we have a, a screen and why the, keeping your screen in very good condition when you actually do crack open your oil sump system is very important. You have a sump, be it a flat bottomed one or be it a horned one, it doesn't really matter. You'll then have a siphon tube like this, 
which will have a screen mesh on and then you have your pump your eccentric pump and then that goes through your oil filter and back out again right that's how the whole system works this oil filter here is to collect all the tiny particles or try and collect as much of the bigger tiny particles out of your oil but it's the screen here that stops the big bits so putting a plug on here that's magnetic to collect most of the things that aren't magnetic it's pointless you know what i mean like i say if you had a flat bottom pan like this you'd have to cycle the engine which is not well, obviously not what you want to do you have to cycle the engine run the engine for ages for that bit to go around the system or whatever and plonk on there you know what i mean and wander past that sump plug to then be attracted and what range has this thing got you know how far is this bit bit of heavy metal falls in like a washer or something it's just going to stick on the bottom of your oil pan and not go anywhere you know uh yeah people asked that's my opinion on it it you know if your bearings do go pop and bearings go everywhere they're babby aluminium copper all sorts of shit it's not gonna fucking stick to it anyway so you kind of fucked yourself it's the screen that will catch most of it all the little particles that have got through your pump which is a very dodgy thing because your pump is a very tight there are some tight spots in your pump you can flow in and actually not hit any of them and go through your pump but that's what your filter is there for you know someone's already thought about this this is just a drain plug someone's already thought about this and they put a filter in there to stop it going down your galleries and blocking shit up hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit